yoga friends, come on in. Happy Monday. Uh, it's Monday, I got that part. Um, my name is Audra Monk and I teach at Middletown, oh my goodness, it is definitely Monday. I teach at Mountain Spirit Yoga in Middletown, Maryland and we would love for you to come join us at our studio for a class or a workshop. In fact, you should check out our website, mountainspirityoga.com. We have a great uh, yoga therapy ball workshop coming up this coming Saturday, which is, I think, November 3rd, something like that, but you should check it out. It's going to be a great workshop. Um, all right, so today, it's almost Halloween, um, so we are going to channel our inner superhero, our strength, our power, um, and as much imagination as you'd like. So we're going to play with Warrior Two. So let's warm up just a little bit. Um, these are short workouts or short practices. So some of you may need more warm up. So feel free to go to YouTube or look on Facebook under videos and find some more gentle ones to start with if that's better for you. Um, but if you've been out and about and you're doing things, this might work just fine. So um, let's come to our, you'll need a mat or a nice sturdy floor. And we are going, not dirty, but sturdy. We are gonna widen our legs and we're gonna warm up just a little bit. So have your uh, toes angled out. And for a moment, just put your hands on your hips and slide your hips around. Take some circles. See how that feels. Okay, so check on the hips. All right, now we're gonna do start with some very easy squats. Or, or yeah, just squats. We're gonna let the knees come down and up. Good. And you can do hands on the thighs or hands on the hips. And we're just kind of checking out. Let those knees track out over the middle of the foot. So towards the toes, towards the second and third toes. Good. Down and up. All right. So maybe you're going to keep the hands low as we warm up here a little bit. Or maybe we're going to add those arms and warm up the shoulders, which we need for our Warrior Two superhero variations. So we're going to bend at the elbows and lift and open. Good. Bend at the elbows. Let's go two more like that. Good. So some things to think about when you're doing a shorter practice and then bring your arms around and back and we're gonna hold them. Interlace the fingers, knuckles go towards the floor. Is that when you're doing a shorter practice, it's okay not to do your biggest, strongest warrior two pose. We might feel that in our hearts, but it's okay if in our body it is something different. Um, if you're warmed up and you're doing a longer practice, you know, you may want to really work super hard and that's totally okay. It's okay whatever you need it to be on your day. All right, release the arms. Next, we're going to come forward. So bend at the knees. You might need to widen the feet. Okay. You could do hands on the thighs and go back and forth here. That might feel good. If a little more forward would be good for you, you might take your blocks, one or two blocks, and put them on the floor. And that gets you a little deeper. Good. Maybe, you know, then maybe you go to one block. Maybe you have long arms or it just feels right for you to go hands on the floor. It's okay, I'm going to stay up on at least one block because, you know, this is the first uh, movement and exercise I've done today. Nice and easy. And go once more for each side. All right, and then we're gonna stretch this a little bit. So I'm gonna turn my heels back and my toes are forward. I might move that block and adjust. I'm gonna keep a flat back. So you could be fingertips, you could be hands, you could stack more blocks, you could do hands on the legs. We're gonna pause here, tuck the chin and lengthen through the crown of the head. Good, and we're gonna breathe. And then take your time coming out. Bend the knees. Pick a foot. So lean more to one side and step a foot in. And then the other foot in. Forward fold. Bend your knees a lot. You might need to come up on your block. You might need to bring your elbows or hands to your thighs. Good. Breathing here. And then carefully we're going to bend the knees a lot. Inhale. Sweep the arms out and around. And exhale and bring the hands to the heart. Very nice. All right, so let's get into our warrior poses. Step your legs really wide. For most of us, warrior two is our widest step. So feel free to take up as much space as works for you today. All right, and then pick a side. Which
whichever side you want and turn those toes forward. On the back side, have your heel in general last. That's comfortable for most of us. If your foot's a little different, that's okay. All right, so we're gonna warm up a still. I just like to move before we hold our poses. So we're gonna bend and straighten this leg, but we're gonna add some fun arms. So inhale the arms up and exhale the hands to the heart. So in general, your belly and your chest are towards your open side. Inhale up through the center on the exhale, we bend the front knee and we turn and we look over our front fingertips. Good, and then we inhale up, exhale hands back to the heart. Good, so this is slow to start. Inhale up through the center, exhale, warrior two. Good. Inhale back up to the straight leg, hands come to the heart. This is the last one of this. Up through the center, exhale, warrior two. Good, inhale up, turn the feet. Let's go ahead and bring the hands down to the heart or to the hips. Turn the feet so you have a new lead leg. Good, and your heel is last behind you. Excellent, all right, so hands are at the heart. Bring them up through the center. That's the inhale, exhale, bend the knee. Look forward over your front, new front fingertips. Inhale up, hands come to the heart. And then we go again, inhale up through the center. Exhale, bend the knee, check on the knee this time. Are you tracking out over the second and third toes? Good, inhale up. Exhale, hands to the heart. And one more time, up through the center, bending the knee, warrior two. And up we go. Good, hands back to the heart. Turn all the toes forward. All right, release the hands, go back to your first side. All right, so our next, there's three variations. You've done one, we have two more sets. So next, um, I think I learned this many years ago, and it was just called big circle around you, which sounds just perfect, right? So bend your front knee, go back to your first side, bring both hands forward. Good, and then now this is the work. We're gonna bend the knee, open the toe, shift the weight, lift the front toe, circle the arms out and around, put the heel back and sink in. That was a lot of words, can we do it again? Inhale around, exhale, sink in. All right, one more time, inhale around. So we do need to shift that back leg, circle around, and sink in. Good, and gently release. Let's go to the other side. Take your time, so double check this knee and foot are comfortable. Remember that this knee and foot are gonna open. All right, so warrior two, two arms to the front. All right, here we go, we slide it back, bend and open, lift the toe, circle it around. Put the heel down, put the toe down, sink in. There we go, inhale, open, make your big circle. Exhale, sink in. And one more time, out and around. Exhale, sink in. Good, and come back to center. All right, we're gonna heel toe these feet together. Last little release before our very last warrior two variation today. Roll your shoulders a couple times. All right, step it out wide again. Turn back to your very first side. Heel is last before, behind you. Excellent. Let's bend into that front knee. So here's your bigger warrior. Maybe you're feeling pretty warm and you might stay high. You might go medium, you might go low. Find the place that's right for you right now. Look and check, is your knee tracking over the second and third toe? Beautiful. All right, bring the hands to the heart. Push them up like we did earlier, and then really strong, bring them out. So you are Batman or Supergirl or The Flash. You are whoever you feel you need to be right now, that you are strong and steady. Beautiful, and we sink in. The shoulders are relaxed, but the arms are strong. The jaw relaxes. But maybe you have a little bit of a steely eye on the bad guy. And we're breathing. And as the place of challenge and fatigue rises, we're gonna soften it and breathe into it and tell our bodies that it's okay. We can be comfortably uncomfortable for just a moment. Let's take two more breaths here. All right, then we're gonna rise up slow. Turn your palms up. There we go. Press into the foot, squeeze the leg. Come all the way up. 
and gently release the arms down. Beautiful job. Turn your feet. Turn your feet. All right, so your new toes face forward. Your heel is last. Good. Bring those hands to the heart. I think we started this way. <laughs> it's Monday. I can't remember. We're going to bring the hands up through the center. All right, and then turn towards your new front leg. Arms open. Make sure your pose is as wide as yours needs to be. Warrior two, strong and steady. Check that the knee is tracking over the second and third toes so your knee will be happy as we build the strength we need for happy knees. Good, arms reach out, gaze is soft, yet a little bit steely over here. All right, remember to channel your inner superhero. Whoever that is for you, maybe your inner superhero is you or your mom or your grandma, somebody that brings you strength. Good, we're breathing. The back leg is squeezing. Good, we're settling in. When those doubts start to rise up, we remind ourselves we are strong. We are powerful. We can do hard things. Good, let's breathe two more breaths together. And then we're going to come out with all that strength. Turn your palms up. And as the legs start to straighten by the strength of the thigh, the arms come up. Beautiful. Let the arms float down. Turn all the toes forward. Heel, toe, those feet back together. Tadasana. Feet about hip distance apart. Inner foot, outer foot, strong. Shoulders down and back so we stand tall. Belly pulls in and we settle into neutral. Breathing here. Let's inhale, arms out and around. Look up if you like. And exhale, hands come to the heart. And there we go. Some Monday morning yoga minutes. Strong and powerful you are. Thank you so very much for joining me. And I'll see you next week. Give me a like. Give me a love. Let us know that you're watching. Thank you and namaste.